Hello, my name is Betty Clark, Reverend Betty Clark, and I live in Oakland, California. I was born the great granddaughter of slaves. My mother was an indentured slave. On Juneteenth of this year, as I was watching TV and saw commentators, black and white, saying the same thing, which was incorrect. They were saying that Juneteenth ended slavery as we knew it in this country. And that's not true. And it pained me. It hurt me so bad. I didn't even realize why I was feeling such pain until I began to remember. I remembered that my great-grandparents were still slaves until December 31st, 1865. Because the Emancipation Proclamation did not free all the slaves. We need to read it. Abraham Lincoln said that he was enacting it for just a little over 100 days so that he could win the war. And that all the slaves that were being held in the border states and the northern states, especially the northern states where they were being held, the ones that had run away. He was encouraging the military to enlist them into the military to help win the war. And then he freed the slaves in the south, the states that were not joined the Union in order to cripple their economy and to win the war. And he didn't free all the slaves in the South. There were some sections of some states that were in the Union. Those slaves were not freed. And the border states were not freed. And the Northern states had a, 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 a right to free them if they wanted to. And many did not. As I said, my great grandparents were slaves. My state of Kentucky waited until 13th Amendment came along. It took the 13th Amendment to free all slaves in this country as we knew it. The 13th Amendment was began in January of 1865, and they were given until December 31st, 1865, to free their slaves. And my state of Kentucky waited until the very last day. And then they enacted the indentured slavery law. So my grandfather died at the age of 39 in the tobacco field, left my grandmother with 10 or 11 children that she could not feed. And so she indentured them all, dropped them all off at different white farms to be indentured slaves until they turned 21. My mother was an indentured slave until 1937. As I listened to the commentators on Juneteenth, I began to feel the pain of knowing that my mother never had a childhood with parents. She never had pictures. She never had school pictures. She never was able to be where, around her siblings or her mother. And that carried over to me and my siblings. The, the neglect that she had felt from not being able to be with her family. I am hurting. I am in pain, but I am angry. I'm angry because if we are going to begin to change this country, we have to begin with the truth. And I'm angry at the black commentators, Al Sharpton and all of you who continue to say that Juneteenth ended slavery as we knew it in this country. Look up the history. If we're going to teach history, we got to teach it right. There's a lot of other pain in this story. And I'm going to share just one or two more. My grandmother, after she dropped off her last child at the last farm, ended up on a farm. The owner's last name was Bright. And Mr. Bright, and I got this from his daughter, 
said to his family, give her something to eat. She's hungry. And his daughter, who's now in her 80s, said, my grandmother had a cardboard box with a rope tied around it, and that's all she had. And they gave her something to eat. And this lady said, I couldn't imagine anyone being hungry because we had so much food. She ended up living on their farm until she died. She lived in a one-room little house. And there were other servant quarters on the side. And I would go in the summer and spend two weeks with her. One day, a couple of years ago, I rode back to that place. And the woman that my grandmother raised, the white woman that my grandmother raised, who was not able to raise her own children, raised this woman. She told me that. She told me that where they dropped, where she dropped my mother off, the people were mean. The pain continues and people need to know because unless we tell the truth and people understand the truth of the injustice and the a discrimination and the hatred in this country nothing will change it helps to tell the truth it helps to talk about it it helps me and i hope it helps you